Hi, good morning, everyone. It's a very beautiful day. The Lord is always faithful. How great our God is. I'm your friend once more, your sister, Osasu Nogolo. Today, I want to talk about a husband who is always angry. Let's deal with that topic today. I am an angry husband. What do I do? Get your popcorn once more, and if you've got any drink with it, if it's your coffee, your tea, your chocolate milk, your ice cream, sit down and let's talk. Marriage is a beautiful thing, as I will always say it. But husband, you have found out that there's a challenge with you and you are struggling. What do I do? You truly don't know what to do. Sit down and let's talk. I am an angry husband. What do I do? Good morning and win today. Husband, there's this thing I want to tell you. You were not born to be angry. God didn't design you to be angry. Anger is not from your origin. Anger is not, if you, Bible says you can be angry and not sin. But anger that will make you do the wrong things and spoil things is not from God. And thank you, subscribers, for everyone who watches and sees my video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for supporting me. I deeply appreciate it. And if you are seeing me for the first time, this is an opportunity to subscribe and follow the page for more videos regarding our homes. God bless you. I love it in the name of Jesus. I am an angry husband. I don't know what to do. I want to read a passage of the scriptures. It's in Psalms chapter 82. I want to read verse 6. It says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Come on, brother. Father, Dad, Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. It says, ye are gods. Come on. Dad, you are a God. You didn't know before now. I am reading this passage of the scriptures for you to see it. And know who you are. You are not an ordinary person. You are not just a push about. You are not just, are not, not just ordinary thing. And please don't judge me. Today is dedicated to the men. Next time, I will also deal with that of the woman. I don't want the videos to be too long. Ye are a God. You are not just ordinary. You are not just a person without a purpose. A person without a destiny. You are a person that has been called and that you have been separated for a cause. You have been called for a purpose. He told the Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. Husband, before your father and your mother chose to come together, whether legally or not legally, whether they were just going in the street, the Bible says, I knew you. And so, brother, to be a dad at this time, to be a husband, it is God's purpose for your life. And then there's this habit you are struggling with, you don't know what to do. Let's see what we will do today. I want to start by saying, Dad, can you remember when you were six years old, eight years old, even 10 years, 12? Anything that is done to make you angry, you just laughed and walked away. It didn't really make you angry. You didn't consider it and then said you were angry. You were just you. You were just being yourself. If anybody even triggered you to be angry, being a child, you just play and laugh and walk away. That's the real you that God has made. But while you were growing up, there were some habits that you were picking up. There were some things that you didn't know were inside picking it up. Maybe you saw two people in a fight. One just slapped the other one. Boom! And then the other one became quiet. And then you picked it up from there like, so when somebody makes you angry, when you slap, when you hit, the other person becomes quiet. Or in a working place, you saw a senior staff 
shout at the youngest, the junior staff. And then the junior staff became calm and cool. And then you picked it up from there like, oh, when somebody does something to you that you didn't like, when you shout, you spank, you, you, you know, you do something like the dictatorship uh, style, the other person now becomes quiet. As a child, while you were growing up, these things were just, you are just picking them up unknowingly to you. Because you were a child, opportunity never came that you would do what you have just learned unknowingly. But it just entered you, not really knowing. As you were growing up, growing up, the thing is also growing up in you. And considering the society that we are, there's so much violence everywhere that you don't really need to go far now. You just see it everywhere around you. And then it starts to grow. It starts to grow. While you were growing up, an opportunity has presented itself. The thing just spontaneously, you just do it. The reflexes just make you, you, you didn't know how it even happened. And now it has become grown that before you know what is happening, you have equally grown that you have become angry over what you are not supposed to be angry at. Because the anger kept growing in you and then you kept you kept imbibing on them. You kept dwelling on them. You kept doing it. The anger, that anger, that thing that is not what you were born with. Because when the Bible says ye are gods, when a man knows who he is, that childlike in him is what he displays. Even when somebody does anything to you to make you angry, you don't get angry. You are just laughing because that child in you don't easily get angry. The child in you is always smiling, rejoicing, just nothing really angers him. Below, that's the reason. That's the you that God is saying, ye are gods, not the one that is easily angered at a little or a minor thing. That little child that God wants to relate with, you don't get angry and become an angry person. The real you is not an angry person. It's the, the things that you picked up. That now makes you an angry person. That I want you to get it in yourself that the you that God has made is not an angry person. And so you picked it up not knowing it. That is number one. Number two, as a grown man now, nearly 40, above 40, running to 50, even in your 60, and you are struggling on how to. Achieve a few things that your mates have achieved. And so it makes you really upset that at this stage, you have still not acquired this property. You have not been able to do this for yourself. You don't even have a house of your own. Brother, dad, I want to come and encourage you today. God is aware. Don't consider your age now. I want you to know that that situation that you are in, whatever it is that you now you are considering that you have not achieved, God knows about it. Dad, God is aware of it. Don't get angry because you have not achieved it. Or when you see that your child does something, immediately, it is what you, you want to get that you have not gotten. It now makes you to react to the child's minor thing that he or she has done in the house. Whatever it is that makes you angry in the house, you just look at everything and you are angry. The, the main reason behind it is you are just considering at this stage, this is still where I am at this time. This is what I have not done. Dad, you are not alone. Dad, you are not alone. Are you a child of God? Have you called on God? Sorry. Have you called on God? 
Have you said God he should help you? Have you decided that God is your father? Even though you're growing up, there were some things that happened to you that has caused the anger and now you think that life is leaving you behind? Dear dad, you are you and God knows you. God is interested in you. God wants to work in you. God has a purpose for you. God has called and separated you. And so he knows what he is doing. What I want you to do now, that thing that you are thinking that you need to achieve that you have not achieved, take baby steps towards it. There was a time I was planning to do my driving in the United Kingdom. But if you are here, you just to read the theory, it's a lot of hard work, especially when you have left school for a long time. You just feel like, oh, how would I do this? But if is it 15 minutes every day? Is it 25 minutes? Is it 45 minutes? Give it to it on a daily basis. And you will see that that thing that you want to achieve, not in a dubious way, you are making steps towards that thing that you want to achieve. And because you are trusting God, the little steps that you have made, they become big. They become really big. And then you are walking towards it. And that thing that is causing anger to making you not able to control it. And because you know that this anger, it can destroy a thing if you are not careful. And you know there are some anger when you really get angry. After the anger, you know that I shouldn't have gotten angry in this manner. And if I'm not careful, it's going to destroy my home. It's going to make my children scared of me. It's going to make this thing that I am doing really terribly bad. Dad, I want you to know that God, get it in your heart. God knows about it. He's aware of it. And as long as you are making steps towards that direction, he will make it big. When you, when you look at what God wants to do through you, God wants to walk through you. And he will make it good in his own time. That's number two. My third thing that I want to talk about is, as a man, your wife, you never tell how what to do when she does it. That's number three. You are wondering like, what is this woman like? Why is it that I never tell her anything and she does it? The thing makes you really angry. It pisses you off. Dad, please listen to me. I am a mom. I am a wife. How did you tell that woman what you want her to do? They say what you say is a very little fraction. The percentage in which it conveys the message. The way you said it, it's more than 70%. Dad, how did you say it? There's a way to say something. There's a way not to say something. Dad, talk to that woman in the way that you know she heard you and she followed you in the first place. Dad, the way you first spoke to her and then she agreed and followed you. Speak to her in that manner. And then I want to encourage you today, dad. That wife that never hears what you say, she would hear you. Dad, husband, that woman, she would hear you. It's not out of place. Don't think that she, she, that's not the way she is. She's not that way. Talk to her. That thing that you want done. Because it can really cause anger. How can it be that I am not the man in this house? I am not, I, this is what is ought to be, but it's never done because this woman will never do this. Brother, dad, I guarantee you today, there's a way to say something. It will pass the message across. And the thing you have said will be implemented in the house in the name of Jesus. God bless you, my brother. God bless our homes. 
And before I run up to thee, because you have picked some anger in you, picked up some of these attributes, and it's making little thing make you angry. Dad, the Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting spiritual wickedness. We are fighting forces of darkness, powers of hell. They want to destroy our lives, destroy our homes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you know what? When you invite the Lord Jesus into your heart, those characters and actors, those things that you picked up not knowing them, the power in the name of Jesus, the power that Jesus gives to us, it helps us to fight these things, this thing called anger that wants to destroy our homes. The power of the Holy Ghost it helps us to deal with that thing that is not of God in our lives. I want to encourage and invite you to Jesus today. Welcome him into your life. Let him come and abide in your heart. Just like you pick those habits and you begin to display them unknowingly. That's how the power of God, working on your inside, will help you to fight that powers that wants to get you angry and spoil things. The power of the Holy Ghost is able to help you. Dear God, you sent Jesus to come and die for me. He's the Lord of my life. I welcome him. Let him come and dwell in my heart. Let him be Lord and master of my heart. I welcome him like never before. Dear God, write my name in the book of life. I walk with you. Wash me with your precious blood. And I know that you will walk in me. And cause that spirit of anger that wants to destroy me to completely die. And I walk with you and have a new and a refreshing home every day in the name of Jesus. And you will find that, that that anger that wants to destroy something in your life, in your home, it will walk, you, it will begin to see the wonders of God. Brother, sometimes stay with yourself. Just talk to yourself. Sometimes meditate. Sometimes leave your heart, your spirit man. Let it be giving you words. Let it talk to you. The spirit of God inside of your heart. Holy Spirit, thank you. It will start to talk to you. The Holy Spirit, it will start to talk to you. And you will find that, that that anger that you are displaying in your home, not knowing it, it starts to die off. It starts to give way. Because the spirit of anger, we can't see it. That's how the spirit that wants to help you fight it, we can't see it. But they are at work. That. I guarantee you today, if you will leave yourself to the Holy Spirit, you leave yourself to God, you will find that, that you have become an overcomer. The Lord will bless your home, Dad. The Lord will increase your home. The Lord will cause that purpose that he has predestined for your life to find fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Dad, I guarantee you, if you will do these practical steps, your life will never remain the same. And you will have a rejoicing home once more. God bless you, Dad, and God bless your home. Next time, I'll talk about an angry wife because we equally have them and our lives will re never remain the same again. God bless you again, Dad, and have a great week. Have a great day and bye-bye. See you some other time. And don't forget, if you see me for the first time, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow my Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and TikTok. God bless you. And bye-bye.